In this video, you learn how to serialize and deserialize Python objects. You learn how to solve this well-known serialization error, how to serialize subsets of attributes, and how to make a generic serializer class that has no knowledge of the data it is serializing. The first part of this tutorial deals with a well-known problem in software engineering. Objects that are not serializable. Let me give you an example. Here is class media player. The class initializer sets the following default values. I create an instance. The player is started. And its values are updated. At some point, this is the latest state. The app is closed and the settings need to be saved as JSON. I serialize the player object. I import JSON and execute the program. I get an error. A state file was created, but it is empty because Python could not serialize the player object. At this point, the program crashes because the object that needs to be serialized is of type media player. Now look at this list. These types are serializable by the JSON module. And although the media player consists of these simple attributes, they are grouped in an object with type media player. What is needed is that the attributes are packed in a dictionary. And lucky for us, Class attributes can be retrieved as a dictionary. Class instances expose their attributes through the dunderdict attribute. Look at the result. The object attributes are defined as a dictionary and can be used in the dump method. The error is gone. And the object is serialized to JSON successfully. Now if you click this video just to solve the serialize error, you can go back to work now. But if you keep watching, I promise it will get much more interesting. For example, what if I only want to save these two attributes instead of the complete object? Well, there are a few options to do this. One of them is to use a JSON library that can do this by annotating attributes that need to be serialized. But for this, the core class of this app suddenly has a dependency on a third-party JSON library. And there is another problem. The media player class suddenly has two responsibilities. Playing media and serialization. This violates the single responsibility principle. And if you want to know more about design principles, you can try a free chapter of my Solid Design Principles with Python course. A link is in the description. If you think about the problem, any attempt to let the Media Player class deal with JSON stuff will violate the single responsibility principle. So what is the solution? Well, some of you may not going to like this. I'm going to create a separate class just for media player state. The new class will have a single responsibility, holding state that needs to be serialized. I move the media player class to a new module. And I create the state class. I import both classes in main. And when closing the app, I create an instance of the state class and pass the needed attributes. And replace the player instance with the state instance. When I execute the code, the JSON should contain only two values. Yes, the JSON is updated correctly. 
I know that many developers dislike the extra class only for serialization purposes and I cannot blame them. It is of course extra work and extra code. But this code adheres to the single responsibility principle and does not require any dependencies on other libraries, nor do they pollute the code with decorators. And there is even another benefit of this approach. The media player is fully decoupled from the JSON file. Attributes can be changed without breaking the app because the mapping of values is done separately. So, what about deserialization? A media player state object should also be created from JSON. And to see how that works, click on the screen right now and we'll see each other in the next video. There you will see how to create a media player object by deserializing JSON.